and great multitudes came to hear and to be healed of their infirmities. As in Bible days, they brought unto Christ all sick people taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those possessed with devils and lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. This converging throng is evidence that people are the same today as in Bible days, when great multitudes followed him because they saw his miracles which he did on the diseased. But not only are people the same, the Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. This fact was the very theme evangelist Osborne and his wife had come to proclaim. This man believes that what Christ did in Bible days, he will do today. The Lutheran pastor opened the meeting with prayer. He prayed as the early church did. Now, Lord, grant unto thy servant that with all boldness he may speak thy word by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. As the evangelist and his interpreter stood up to preach, pastors and missionaries united their faith with them for a harvest of souls. They realized that one soweth and another reapeth. God had sent T.L. Osborne to reap that whereon he bestowed no labor. Other men had labored and now he was entering into their labors. We read in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 12. As many as received Jesus Christ, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. This is one of the greatest statements in the gospel. If you receive Jesus Christ today, he'll impart his life into you. And you will become a child of God. Jesus said, ye must be born again. You must have a new kind of life given to you. A life of Jesus is what you people need here today. His life will give you peace and joy in your heart. The life of Christ will heal your diseases. His life will drive out every sickness 
and every demon from your life. Avrude jeevan ungude jeevathilende ella paavathen ella pisasam rogathen thurathi vidum. The life of Christ will restore your blind eyes and your deaf ears. Yesu Christude jeevan ungude sevudana kaadalukku kelviye koduthu kurudana kannalukku paarve tharum. His life will cleanse your flesh of leprosy today. Avrude jeevan ungude maamsathile irukkum ella kushcharavathe maathi podum. The Bible says He that hath the Son of God hath life. Vedha Divedha Sathya Shulla Padukkane Devarude Kumarne Pettukondavan Jeevane Pettukondavan But he that hath not the Son hath not life. Anal Kumarne Vinodathile illayo Avanikku Jeevanam illay. The Bible says if any man be in Christ Jesus he's a new creature. Vedha Shulla Padukkane Orvan Kreesi Yesu Kulla Irundhal Avan Pudhiya Sirishthi Arukkane All things are passed away. All things become new. Palayellam ahandu poi ellam pudhiyai vidum. The Bible says he forgive all thine iniquities. Vedre solla padrukkara avarude ella akramangale manikkarar and he healeth all thy diseases. Avarude ella noyangaleyum suvamaakkarar. When the leper came to Christ in the Bible. Vedathile adu kushtharogi Yesu vadathile vandha nerathile. One touch from Jesus and his leprosy was gone yesu avane oru murai thottar appul avane kushtharam ella poi vittu when the blind man cried out to jesus and the kurudan yesu nokki satham vittu nerathile one touch from the lord and his blind eyes received sight again yesu avane oru murai thottar appul avane kurudana kannukku paarvai kedaithathu oh my friends just one touch from jesus today and your life will be made ever with hope ஒருமுறை <laughs> திருடவும் கொல்லவும் அளிக்கவுமே வருகிறான் என்று பட் லிசன் டு திஸ் ஆனால் இதை கவனமாக கொள்ளுங்கள் ஐ ஆம் கம் தட் யூ மே ஹேவ் லைஃப் நான் உங்களுக்கு ஜீவனை தரும்படியா வந்தேன் தட் யூ மே ஹேவ் லைஃப் மோர் அபண்டன்ட்லி அந்த ஜீவனை பரிபூர்ணமாக தரவும் வந்தேன் என்றார் பைபிள் சேஸ் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் ஆர் ரிட்டன் தட் யூ மே பிலீவ் தட் ஜீசஸ் இஸ் தி சன் ஆஃப் காட் வேதத்திலே சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது இயேசு தேவருடைய குமாரர் என்று நீங்க விசுவாசிக்கும்படியாக இவர்கள் எழுதப்பட்டிருக்கிறது அண்ட் தட் த்ரூ பிலீவிங் யூ மே ஹேவ் லைஃப் through his name adha vishwasapadi moolamaga avrude naamathinal jeevane pettukollumbadiya eludha pettukkaru he is here right now to impart his miracle life to every one of you avar ippozhudhu avrude athunamana jeevane ungal ovararkum tharumbadiya irukkaru that is true christianity aduve unmayana christo maarkam that's not religion adhu or maarkam alla that's a miracle adhu or athunama irukkaru all life from jesus yes christian undu undavaradana jeevan not a form adhu or maarkathin thotra maatram alla it's a person adhu or aala irukkaru jesus christ the son of god yes christ devarude kumarana irukkaru will you receive his life today நீங்கள் இன்று அவருடைய ஜீவனை பெற்றுக்கொள்ளுங்கள் அழித்து போடுவீர்கள் ஒரு புதிய சிருஷ்டி ஆகிறோம் அது ஒரு அற்புதமா இருக்கும் ஏற்றுக்கொள்ளுங்கள் அவருடைய ஜீவனை இப்பொழுது ஏற்றுக்கொள்ளுங்கள் நீங்கள் விசுவாசித்தால் மாத்திரம் போதும் If you are willing to accept him now ningal ippol avare ettukonna virumbinal i want you to repeat this prayer after me right out loud ningal ovvoru varum ennodu serndhu indha javathai sathamaga sollungal say oh lord in heaven parlokathile irukkum devane i accept jesus as my savior god yesu enna sundara theraga ettukolleren i believe on jesus christ God yes please to my number in Come into my life Lord and the rain of your life to come and come Amen Forgive my sin in your faults and to marry to come Give me peace in my soul in your heart to come and to come Amen Give me joy in my heart in your heart to come and to come Amen 
Make me your child, Lord. And from this day, I will follow Jesus. In the name of the Lord, yes, we have been the Thank you, Lord. Now I am a follower of Jesus. My sins are forgiven. As in apostolic days, many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of them was thousands. Without the miraculous, Christianity is another dead religion. What these masses crave is not another religion, but a new life. And this is life, that they might know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he hath sent. For he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. It was the same in Madura as it was in Bible days. Believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women. After thousands accepted the Lord, prayer was offered for the sick. Each one was instructed to lay his hand wherever he wanted the Lord to heal him, as all united in simple, childlike faith. Now, Lord, I pray for those who are sick in their body. I ask in the name of Jesus that you will heal every one of them now. Let your life come into their body and give them health in their flesh. O oh Lord, open the eyes of the blind and give them power to see clearly. In the name of Jesus, cause the deaf ears to come open and hear me now. If they have fevers and pain in their body, right now, heal them from their heads to their feet. I ask that your power will go right through their bodies now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I know that you're healing them, Lord. I thank you for it, Lord. I know that you're And right now, I can feel your presence. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you thankful for what God has done for you people? If so, say amen. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. The evangelist challenged those who had been healed to give public testimony to the power of Christ. Polio had left this boy a cripple, but as he believed, God did a miracle and now he's able to walk and even run again. He was impotent in his legs and arms. New life from Christ made him whole again. With reverence, this low-caste woman tells the evangelist how God has opened her blind eyes. There was no caste or class distinction here. Everyone who believed received. This little boy had never taken a step. Through an abnormality in birth, he could never bear his own weight on his legs. He moved about by dragging and scooting his little body on the ground. But now he is healed. Can you bend over and touch your feet now? Fraser, 
jump a little bit. Let me see you jump. Are you happy for that? Everybody say praise the Lord. God's good to you, isn't it? She had lost all strength in her arms and back and was unable to do her work in the village. Now she explains that every symptom is gone as the people rejoice with her. With great reverence, she praises God for the new life he has given to her soul as well as her body. As it was when Philip preached Christ in Samaria, many taken with palsies and that were lame were healed. And unclean spirits came out of many, as in the case of this woman. This little lady was demon-possessed. She came to this meeting in a terrible shape. The other night, under a spell by demons, they had to take her out of the meeting. But look at her now. You tell the people what God has done for you, sister. She had spent her money seeking a cure for her numerous maladies, but was no better. The Lord has made her whole. No wonder she is so radiant. This elderly preacher was delivered from arthritis in his arms. A good handshake leaves no pain now. Are you thankful that God loves gypsies and heals them too? Here's a whole family of them that have been healed. Look at these people. Are you thankful for what God's done for them? If you are, say amen. The mother here has been healed of deafness. And she also had leprosy. She believes the Lord has healed her completely. And the three little children have all been healed. Say praise the Lord for that. This lad was born with crossed eyes. Now they are perfectly healed. He has believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. He is a brilliant young man. Perhaps he will become one of India's soul winners. She was born deaf and dumb, but a new life has come to her now. Christ has opened her ears and loosed her tongue. Certainly, Jesus Christ is unchanged today if we only believe. A crippling disease made it impossible for her to walk. She also had shaking palsy so bad she could not dress or feed herself. But now she is healed, and with joy she marvels at such a wonder of God. This underdeveloped child is six years old. She had never stood on her feet. Large calluses mark the spots where she had dragged her body crawling on the ground. Indeed, the multitudes wondered when they saw the maimed to be whole and the lame to walk, and they glorified God. Jesus said, Go and show those things which you hear and see. 
the blind receive their sight, the deaf hear, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. She was demon-possessed. It took several people to hold her. She would bark like a dog. During the prayer, she screamed and fell to the ground, but then arose, completely restored and in her right mind. Another witness that Bible faith brings Bible results even today. Thank God, believers were added to the Lord as multitudes beheld the wonders of God. They realized that only the living Christ could do such miracles. Because his sight and hearing were nearly gone, he attempted suicide. He said, life was not worth living, but God has been good to me. My eyes and ears are healed now. For the first time in their lives, a multitude of Hindus searching for life had come to know the giver of life, Jesus Christ. He showed himself alive by many infallible proofs as he healed their sick forgave their sins and set their captives free. Many who received blessings were the poorest of the poor, outcasts and untouchables. But Jesus said, preach the gospel to the poor. And that was what Evangelist Osborne was doing. For the Lord opening your ears like that. Yes, Uncle. Tell the people, praise the Lord. I think this boy will make a preacher someday, don't you? Isn't he a good looking fellow? Look here, boy. Are you going to follow Jesus faithfully? With all your heart? Yes. And have you told other people what the Lord has done? This old man was healed of almost total blindness. He wanted time to demonstrate to the people how he could see now. Sure. How many is this? 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 <laughs> Are you happy? Hallelujah. The Bible says, The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He looseth the prisoners. He openeth the eyes of the blind. He relieveth the widows. He gathereth the outcasts and bindeth up their wounds. The Lord is nigh to all that call upon him. He will hear their cry and will save them. They tell me he was cross-eyed from birth. He's not cross-eyed now. The Lord has done a miracle. Look right at the people. Can you see his eyes? Are they straight now? Look right over here, boy. Look at this. Are his eyes straight? They're just as straight as they can be. This girl was crippled from polio. In tears of gratitude, her mother tells how the miracle life of Christ came into her daughter's paralyzed body as they called upon the Lord. No man can do these miracles, but the Bible says, Ah, Lord God, Behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. If Christ will not perform the miracles today, which he wrought in Bible days, then he has changed. But the scripture declares he is the same yesterday and today and forever. For thousands, this was the beginning of a new pilgrimage a new way of life. It is written, they which have received abundance of grace shall reign in life by Christ Jesus, for the gift of God is eternal life. When John the Apostle saw the redeemed standing before God, he said, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number stood before the Lamb clothed in white robes and cried with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and they worshipped him. And the Lord said, 
These are they which have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. They shall hunger or thirst no more, for God himself shall be with them. And he shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, nor pain, for the Lamb in the midst of the throne shall feed them and lead them unto living waters. And whosoever will, let him take of the 